Hi everyone and welcome back to Sparkle Saturdays. I will be doing this look today. And this look is featuring another Violet Voss glitter called Penelope. And this is what it looks like. This is described on the website as a deep, rich, purple plum glitter. That's pretty much what it is. And so that's what I have on the lids today. And I'll show you in the tutorial how to achieve this look. What you didn't see is the lips. I lined the lips with this liner from NYX in deep purple. And then I applied this lipstick from City Color. And this is in the color Queenie. And then I applied a lip gloss. It was from Milani. Let me see if I can... Oh, here it is. This is the lip gloss. It's one of the uh, 3D glosses. And I forgot what it's called, but uh, it's like Fashion Diva or something like that. So I applied a little bit of that on top just to give it some shine because this is a uh, matte lipstick. For the cheeks, I applied this um, bronzer as a highlight. This is Mary Kay bronzer. I think it's in medium deep right in this area then for blush I applied the Femmes Precious Plum this one right here and I think that's pretty much it everything else you'll see in the tutorial one thing I wanted to show you tell you real quick is about a little trick I'm doing now and it's really not a trick per se but it was something that I decided to try and I've been liking so far I used to be using like concealer under under eye I've tried different concealers I even tried that um, um, highlighter I believe it's from MAC and um, Peach Luster and, and all of it seems to turn to um, a different texture after I've had it on for a while under the eye so um, I said one day well shoot why don't I just use a lighter <laughs> foundation to um, wear under the eye to kind of brighten so I was using bronze 5 from Mary Kay the matte wear so I ended up trying the bronze 3 which is just two shades lighter same thing the matte wear and that's what I've been wearing from um, for the past few times that I've been doing tutorials and then I'll apply like a highlighter on top and um, I'll apply powder and then a highlighter on top and I really like how it um, brightens the under eye area and makes it look like it's um, more highlighted so uh, that's a little thing I've been doing here lately so I'll use the bronze 5 you know around the perimeter but I'll put the bronze 3 under the eye so um, anyway I hope you like this look I wanted to do something kind of dramatic so I got the dramatic lashes on and <laughs> I hope you like this look and I hope this look will inspire you to create something of your own. Thanks for watching and tutorials up next. Bye. We're going to start with some Madison Street Beauty products. I'm going to start with the highlight and I'm going to be using Posey. 
under the brow. To blend in the highlight, I'm going to be using this color called Ginger Tea, right below Posy. Then to blend with that previous color, I'm going to use this color, also from Madison Street Beauty, in Sedona. Right below those orangey colors, I'm going to apply this color. It's called Cosmopolitan. And I'm going to blend it in with the Sedona color. going to apply this beautiful color to the lid. This is another Madison Street Beauty color in Claret. As you can see it's a deep wine color. And I'm applying it through the inner part of the lid. Leave a space on the outside. Then I'm going to go into the outer V and crease. I'm going to use this black opal duo, Jules Fervor. And I'm going to use this darker color here. It's like a dark burgundy and there's several dupes to this color. There's um, Max Beauty Mart, there's Urban Decay's Black Heart, there's even this color from the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher du uh, palette, this color here. They're all about the same color, but I'm just going to use the one in the Black Opal Duo. And I'm going to apply that to the outer V and into the crease. To blend out that dark color, I'm going to use this color from Inglot. It's number 72 AMC. It's like a plum color. And I'm going to use this uh, brush from Sedona Lace number 863. It's like a blending brush. And just blend it in over the top of the dark color. For the lower lash line, I'm going to apply this Black Magic Milani pencil and blackened pink. It's not really pink, it's more of a dark burgundy. So I'm going to line the waterline and lower lash line with this. And I'm going to leave a tiny small space in the tear duct. In the tear duct I'm going to apply this golden white gold highlight from City Color. 
just to brighten up the inner eye. So these are the eyes so far. I'm going to now apply the glitter. I'm going to be using Violet Voss's uh, Secret Weapon Adhesive. And I'm going to apply the Penelope Glitter on top. So I'm going to apply the adhesive first to the lid where I applied the claret color. Just tap it on lightly. So these are the final eyes after being sparkified. I'm going to apply these Stardell lashes number 201 and that'll be the look. Thanks for watching. Pictures up next.